This country has one of the most active volcanoes in the Caribbean. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at St. Vincent and the Grenadines, an enchanting archipelago of 32 islands and Cays. The main island, St. Vincent, served as a refuge for notorious pirates during the 18th century, including the infamous Blackbeard. Join us and stay to the end to uncover the geography, food, people and history of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is located in the Southern Caribbean. It consists of the main island of St. Vincent and a chain of smaller islands stretching southward toward Grenada. St. Vincent and the Grenadines has a total land area of only 389 square kilometers making it one of the world's smaller nations. However, its captivating geography includes lush green mountains, idyllic beaches and charming offshore islets. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is situated between St. Lucia to the north and Grenada to the south. To the west lies the Caribbean Sea. The nation consists of 32 islands and cays. The largest island is St. Vincent, which covers around 344 square kilometers. Some of the other major islands include Bekia, Mustique, Canuan, Mairo, Union Island, Palm Island and Petit Saint Vincent. Scattered between these larger islands are many tiny uninhabited islets. The terrain of St. Vincent is dominated by a central mountain range called the Soufriere Mountains, the tallest peak is La Soufrière Volcano at 1,234 meters. Besides the towering volcano, the interior mountains are covered in thick rainforest and narrow valleys and rivers radiate outward from the rugged mountains toward the coastline. The Grenadine Islands have a flatter topography consisting of coral and volcanic rock. St. Vincent's offshore islets are picturesque with sandy beaches, palm trees, and rocky cliffs. The island is home to a small but vibrant population of around 100,000 people, according to World Bank data. St. Vincentians come from diverse origins and have developed a unique culture in the Caribbean. Around 66% of St. Vincentians are descended from African slaves brought to the islands to work on colonial plantations. Another 19% are mixed race, with European and African ancestry. Only about 6% are white descendants of British and French colonists. The remaining 9% are Carib Amerindians, the indigenous people of St. Vincent. Around 75% of Vincentians are Christian, with Anglicanism and Methodism being the largest denominations. Another 15% are Roman Catholic. Protestant evangelical churches are also popular on the islands. The Rastafarian movement has a small following in St. Vincent. Only about 2% still follow indigenous spiritual practices or other religions. The official language spoken by nearly all Vincentians is English, reflecting the island's British colonial history. However, most people speak Vincentian Creole in informal daily conversation. This Creole blends English with African and French influences. Smaller minorities in St. Vincent also speak the Carib language, Spanish, French Creole and sign languages. Drawing from African, French and British traditions, Vincentian cuisine makes use of local fruits, vegetables, roots, seafood and meats. Here are some flavors you can taste in St. Vincent. A staple starch in Vincentian cooking, breadfruit is combined with freshly caught jackfish, onions and aromatic herbs to make a simple yet flavorful meal. The breadfruit soaks up the jackfish juices while providing a starchy base. This breakfast dish starts with salted and flaked cod, rehydrated overnight to soften it. Onions, tomatoes, peppers and herbs are added to the moist salt fish to make a zesty salad-like concoction called buljol. It's served with baked bakes or dumplings. 
Callaloo is a leafy green vegetable similar to spinach. It's blended with onions, garlic, carrots, okra, crab, coconut milk and robust Caribbean spices to create a thick, deeply flavored soup. Spinners are often added, fried dumplings that resemble little spiders. The islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines have a complex history spanning indigenous cultures, colonial struggles, slavery and independence. Located in the Southern Caribbean Sea, these lush tropical islands have long been prized for their natural resources and strategic location. The first inhabitants of St. Vincent were the Siboney people who migrated up from South America. By the end of the 8th century AD, they were displaced by the more dominant Arawak tribes moving up from the Orinoco River Delta. In the 15th century, the Caribs invaded and conquered the Arawaks. Christopher Columbus first sighted St. Vincent in 1498 during his third voyage to the New World. Hostility from the native Caribs prevented European colonization until the 17th century. The first successful British settlements were founded in the 1620s and 1630s. The French also laid claim to St. Vincent and fought with the British for control through the 1700s. The British eventually secured dominance in 1783 with the Treaty of Versailles. The British colonists established sugarcane plantations dependent on the labor of African slaves. St. Vincent became a focal point of the slave trade, receiving over 25,000 African captives between 1723 and 1778. The abolition of slavery in 1834 left many Afro-Vincentians in poor conditions working as peasant farmers. Indentured labor continued until independence in 1979. In 1877, St. Vincent was made part of the British Windward Islands Administration. A period of labor riots and strikes in the 1930s catalyzed the formation of political parties. Universal adult suffrage was introduced in 1951. St. Vincent peacefully gained independence from Britain in 1979 with Milton Cato as its first prime minister. St. Vincent has undergone sweeping changes over the centuries, from Carib hunter-gatherers to the rise and fall of colonial sugar plantations to national independence. Despite periods of oppression, Vincentians have preserved a vibrant and diverse cultural heritage. The resilience of this Caribbean island nation continues as it embraces the future. Though it remains one of the poorest and most indebted countries in the region, the Vincentian economy has grown modestly in recent years. Its GDP is roughly $948 million, according to World Bank data. Agriculture employs around 40% of the workforce and generates 8% of GDP in St. Vincent. The main agricultural exports are root crops like yams and dasheen, Edos, bananas and plantains. St. Vincent also produces coconuts, citrus fruits, mangoes, breadfruit and cocoa beans. However, natural disasters often damage important banana and coconut crops. Tourism is a vital and growing component of the Vincentian economy, employing around 30% of the workforce. St. Vincent's tropical landscapes, volcanoes, coral reefs and beaches attract over 75,000 visitors annually. Tourism revenue represents about 25% of GDP. The recent international airport expansion aims to boost high-end tourism. St. Vincent's offshore financial services sector has expanded since the 1990s. It now accounts for over 15% of government revenue. However, the sector faces increased global pressure and regulations. The government aims to strengthen regulatory standards. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is renowned for its vibrant and unique culture. Its heritage derives from a blending of African, European colonial and indigenous Carib influences. St. Vincent has a thriving music scene rooted in Afro-Caribbean traditions. 
popular genres include calypso, salsa, steel pan, reggae, and zouk. The island also has a strong history of jazz, producing renowned musicians like Othello Molino. Vinci artists incorporate storytelling, political commentary, humor, and spiritual themes into their songs. Vincentians love festivals that celebrate history, culture, and community. Major events include Emancipation Day, Vinci Mass Carnival, Parang Music Festivals, Gospel Fest, and Beckwith Day for Fishermen. These lively festivals feature parades, competitions, pageants, traditional cuisine, music and dance. If you enjoyed this video on St. Vincent and the Grenadines, you'll love this next one.